So we're gonna get started with our Teachable Machine activity. So first I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm going to type in Teachable Machine. And as you can see, as I start to type it, it's the first thing that pops up on my screen. Um, and after I click on that, you'll notice if I scroll down, the first one that has a Google link is called teachablemachine.withgoogle.com. So I'm gonna click on that. Make sure you do a, a fresh search to make sure that you've got the latest link for this. And this is the opening screen, which asks us to click on the blue button to get started. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and start a new image project with a standard image model, because that's the best for most cases. And I'll just tell you what I've got with me right now is I've got two stuffed animals. One is a kitty cat and one is a chicken. So I'm gonna label my first class as Mr. Kitty and I'm gonna label the second one as Mr. Chicken. Now, uh, to get started, I'm gonna click on webcam on the first class and it will get started. It takes a, a few moments to, to get warmed up. And just to test it out, I'm gonna put the kitty in front of the camera and you can see as I wave it around, you can see he's got two different color eyes there. So uh, in order to get this training started, we're gonna click on this button, hold to record. And when I do that, it's gonna go really fast. So I need to make sure that I move the kitty around to different corners of the camera and, and uh, in different angles and different orientations to make sure that we can get a lot of different images in different, um, di in different positions for a really good training. So here we go. So I'm gonna try to get around 100 images. You wanna make sure you, you don't get less than 50 images. Uh, and depending on the speed of your system and your, uh, your internet connection, it should actually go pretty fast. So getting around 100 samples uh, shouldn't take very much time at all. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with Mr. Chicken. I'm gonna click on webcam and I'm gonna put the chicken in front of the webcam so you can see what Mr. Chicken looks like. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna click on hold to record and try and get different orientations of Mr. Chicken until I get about a hundred or so image samples. You can see uh, they both happen to have exactly 109 image samples. It's good to get about the same amount of training data for both. So I'm gonna click on this blue button in the center here called train model. And one of the first things it's gonna do is um, it's gonna upload all of the data. It's gonna upload the data to a server and start to train it. It's gonna ask you not to switch tabs because if by any chance uh, it takes a, a, a little bit longer than this to, uh, to start the training, uh, you might wanna click onto a new tab, but if you do, you might lose all your data. So you wanna make sure that you don't switch tabs. So here, even though there's nothing in the screen, it's identifying that this uh, to, to the system appears to, to detect Mr. Chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the opposite. I'm gonna put Mr. Kitty there and you could see Mr. Kitty in the bottom right uh, detection um, area, you can see that it has gone up to 100%. So now I'm gonna put Mr. Chicken there and it's already at 100%, so it stays at 100%. And, and what happens is when I put both Mr. Kitty and Mr. Chicken in the field of view in front of the camera, you can see it, it has a little bit of a, a difficult time deciding which one it is. So it, it wavers between Mr. Kitty and Mr. Chicken depending on which one is a little bit more in front of the camera, which one is taking up more space. So as I move them around, you can see that the percentages of detection are, are moving around pretty wildly. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove both of these, um, both of these, uh, these objects. And I'm gonna put an altogether totally different object that, um, that we did not use for training at all. So this is my Boston Red Sox hat. And when I put it far away in, in, uh, in front of the camera, you could see that it detects Mr. Kitty. But as I bring the, the, the hat a little bit closer to the camera, it starts to get a hint of Mr. Chicken. Now, this is potentially uh, a flaw in the system. This is, is maybe something that could be improved um, with, with the model that they've, they've initially used at Teachable Machine. I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna use uh, an, an object from our previous activity, and that was the face detection activity. And in this case, uh, this is a face that when I actually, when I move it closer to the camera, it starts to waver. It's not sure if it's Mr. Kitty or Mr. Chicken, but as I move it further away, 
it seems to, to detect Mr. Chicken at 100%. So this is something that you, um, if you're working in a team or if you're working alone, it would be great if you could take notes or use a whiteboard and consider all the different pros and cons and, and pull together a matrix of all the different types of samples and objects that you've tested and in different combinations and which ones worked best and which ones didn't. And consider what are the ways that this system could be improved, some of the flaws with the system, and different ways that, that they could make this better.